Alright, so this here is a demo for an upcoming game called Roland Rascal, which is something of kind of a, I, I wouldn't want to say spiritual successor, but it's basically like if the classic 3D Sonic games were to continue, it would kind of look like this. Like, think of that other indie game that I've played before, Spark the Electric Jester 2 or 3. It's basically that, but it, this is kind of its own take on it. And there's a Kickstarter going on right now. I've not actually backed this yet. I'm going to play the demo first to see if I like it. I probably will, because I've been hearing good things about it. So yeah, we're going to check this out and grab a controller. What the fuck? Sorry, I booted this on up on Steam that's bringing up a whole different thing about controllers. I'm using the Switch control. Yeah, sure. What a fucking weird thing for Steam to pop up while I was trying to boot the game up. Thanks for that. Right, let me try and turn the volume down before it starts playing music. This demo is a pre-alpha build. Let me try and capture this real quick. One second. Actually, before I do that... I know you can't see anything yet. Let me just see if I can get this on the first monitor. Or the second monitor, I mean. I don't think that's an option. Right, one second. I need to hide chat for a second so I can actually see what's going on here. Alright, let's try and use my borderless program to move this to the other monitor. Hopefully that works. One second, guys. Right, Roland Rascal. Make borderless on display too. Okay, that worked. Right, good. Now, I'm going to capture it so that you can... Oh, wait, you can see it already. Okay, then, so it picked it up automatically. That's great. Hooray, OBS did something right for once. Alright, so, welcome to Roland Rascal, like I said. Oh, I'm going to... How do I... Let's use the mouse to click back. Right, there we go. Oh, I see. Right. Weird that I don't hear any sound effects. I guess that's intentional. Like, usually you hear, like, a click or something. But yeah, we'll just keep everything as is. How do I click apply? Oh, I have to go all the way down. Yeah, sure. Okay, then. So this demo comprises of two components. It's got a single player, which I think is like a singular level, but there's also an online component, which is kind of like a competitive online mode with like a few maps. We'll try that last. We'll do the single player first, just so I can get used to the game. Well, there's actually two levels. Okay then, so we got Sunrise Shores, learn the ropes of the game, and the Serene san Sanctuary. Alright, so here he is. Here's Roland Rascal. So yeah, it's basically like... Think of like the Dreamcast or the Sonic Heroes. Like, you know, the, the old school, like 3D Sonics. Basically, imagine as if those kind, those style games continued by Sega. I'm gonna turn the camera sensitivity down a little bit one second. Because holy shit, that's a very high sensitivity. We'll set that to 1.5 each. Yeah, back. Okay, that's a bit better. Ah, I see. You got springs. So yeah, this is basically the tutorial area if you want to like try out the mechanics and stuff. Also, you can... Can I do the... It's cool that you can, like, jump toward a wall and then do a wall jump. Almost like the triangle jump from Sonic Heroes, but not exactly. Right, drop kick. Oh. Well, this is kind of neat. Mechanically, it feels solid. I, I see now. 
like I love 3D Sonic games, but Sonic Heroes was like a really janky game, especially when it came to like the fucking grinding rules. Like the grinding rules never fucking worked in that game. And there was a whole level centered around using grinding rules. I think it was called Rail Canyon or something like that. It never fucking worked in that game. I always fucking fell and die. Oh, I see. Neat. I like that. Sonic Heroes was your first Sonic game? Oh, you can see his face while he was doing that. Okay. Whoa. His face rotates, but the hair stays in the same place. That's weird. Also, I think I'm in a bit of trouble here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now we're fine. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to do this. Thank god the water doesn't kill you. I thought that was insta-kill. There we go. Well in ball form, press that to start revving up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Nice. We have a double jump as well. Sonic Heroes was a mess, but the concept was fun. Yeah, the game was fun. My biggest problem with that game is that you have to play through the story four times to get the true ending. And you have to get all the chaos emeralds as well. It took a while to do that, it was annoying. But the the, the core game was fun. Even if it was a step back from Sonic Adventure 2 in many ways. Oh. I have to do it in ball form, right? I see. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the tutorial there. Neat. Oh. There we go. Oh, shit. So you can possess enemies. Okay, that's cool. It's kind of like Kirby a little bit in that regard. Oh, I see. You can use that to get to higher grounds. Reminds me of Crash of the Titans. I've never played that game, but I know what it's about. It's like you ride on big monster things or something, like you take control of them and then pilot them. Right, well that's the tutorial level, so I think I understand everything now. Yeah, look at him, he's got, he's got sass. Right, let's try the non-tutorial level now. Buccaneers Beach, dash along the rocky vista through the rains, through the ruins of a pirate stronghold. Ooh, this music's good. You guys can hear this fine, right? Right, I'm gonna try something. So it's a Sonic-style game. Let's see if I can use momentum to get up very easily. Okay, well, not quite. See, I wanted to see if I could, like, spin dash up there and get to higher ground more easily. I probably could have if the slope wasn't too steep. Whoa, camera. Whoa, okay. Definitely getting some Sonic vibe from this, but in a good way. I think that takes me back to the other place. Sorry to stop for a second, but I need to change something. Uh, invert, vert, uh, on, uh, yeah, invert that, please. Okay, that's better. Sorry, I kept going the wrong direction.
Oh god. Okay, so when you spin dash, you lose all momentum, so I can't really do that in the middle of a slope. There we go. Yeah, I like this so far. This is neat. Oh yeah, you can use this to get to higher ground as well. I forgot about that. Wrecking stuff! I assume this is like Sonic Adventure 2 like momentum rules, where it's like you crouch to go faster if you're on the downslope. Oh, I think the enemy died. Did they respawn? I think I could have controlled him, but eh, whatever. I am go I'm gonna be really bad at doing- oh, <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to be re really bad at playing online if anyone's still playing online right now. Like, this demo's been out for a few days. It's only now that I've finally gotten around to checking it out. I say a few days, it launched yesterday, actually. I bet, no, no, two days ago, sorry. It was February 6th is when it happened. So yeah, it's been a couple days. Hmm. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Oh, there's momentum when you bounce on angles doing that. I see. Alright. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, this is, this is neat. Oh fuck, that's not neat. keep forgetting you can just roll into a ball and let the momentum do the rest. Oops. I was trying to like drive it into the other one but I couldn't quite get around. I missed it. I don't know if I'll be able to get back there now. No, I can get back up. I wanted to grab the coin. I saw it. I seen it. Oh, I, right, I see now. It's a hoop you've got to grab onto. Like, I thought I could just, like, grab onto the, the rope itself, but it doesn't work like that. I understand now. There we go. Oh. 
Now here's the thing, I like this so far, but I'm also still kind of learning how to handle Roland Rascal, if that's his name. I'm guessing his name is just Rascal. It's got a little bit of a learning curve to it, then again I'm bad at video games, so maybe it's just me being, well, bad at video games. But I've played, like, all the 3D Sonic games, and I've played the uh, Spark the Electric Jester 2 and 3. But I think as I play more of this, I will get better at the controls and I'll start to do things more efficiently. Oh, I didn't quite reach that, but that's fine. Also, quite a long level. I think I'm almost done. Ow. See, moments like that are kind of cool. There we go. Oh, Jesus. That's fine, I saved myself. Oh god, that loud explosion. <laughs> Boing. Oh, Jesus. I don't think you can die in the water, thankfully. Okay, I think I have to go backwards. I'm looking for a spring to take me to higher ground, but... I don't see one. Well, let's try that again. There we go. No problem. Whoa. Oh, come on. There. Just had to get rid of him real quick. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> I like how it didn't even break the whole thing, just like part of it. That's kind of cool. Oh, fuck, I missed. Damn, I'm not very good at this. Oh. There we go. Wait, wasn't I just here? Did we go around in a full circle? I think we did.
Oh, that was a checkpoint gate. Hang on. Oh, I got it. Right. Just making sure. Quite a big level. Like, I thought it was going to take, like, two minutes, but no, I've been here for, like, almost ten minutes, I think. It's like the Sonic... It's like the Sonic Heroes levels. Like, those go on, like, for quite a while. Yeah, punch him. Kick it. Whoa. I was gonna try kicking it, but I wasn't ready to, like, get rid of it yet. Okay, there's one thing I'm noticing. I don't know if you guys are noticing it too. The camera is, like, wobbling a little bit. Like, I don't know what's going on there. I wish it would stop doing that. Like, you see that? Hopefully, they, whatever that is, they fix it, because that's kind of a little bit annoying, not gonna lie. Like, it's kind of like the camera's jiggling slightly. Maybe it's something wrong with my controller? I have no idea. I'm using an 8-bit door controller, which works fine with every other PC game. Ah. Oh, okay, right. See, I thought you just hold the button. You have to spam it. Kind of like when you're spin dashing in 2D games. Like 2D Sonics. I may have misread the tutorial that was talking about that. Well, now I know, but it took me too long to figure that out. Oh. Blah. Where, where am I going next? Oh, please. Ah! Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to get up there. Not doing a very good job at it. But look, wait. Yeah, so something's off with the camera. I can't quite explain it, but if you watch carefully enough, you can kind of see how things are jittering a little bit while I'm in motion. I really don't know what's going on with that. Also, there was a timer there. That took me 15 minutes to be that level. Quite a lengthy stage. Hopefully that jittery camera thing stops happening. I don't know if it was just for that level, or if it was just, like, a something else. I don't know. Right, so let's check out the... Real quick, we'll check out the online portion and see if anyone's playing. Got a bunch of colours here. I'll go with green. I like green. European room. Yeah, let's join a game. Let's see if anyone's playing right now. Yeah, this is just the, gener the generic stuff. I don't know if anyone's in this room right now. Doesn't look like it. I feel dumb for not realising I could do this sooner. Because I was wondering, wait, why am I not going fast? Uh, select level, sure. Why does that look like a fucking Fall Guys map? Uh, I don't think anyone's playing right now. I guess I can just try it by myself for now. Yeah, I'm getting, like, heavy Fall Guys vibes from this. 
just how it's pink and in the sky. Where am I going? Uh, sorry, I, I couldn't figure out where they're going next from there. What, over here? Oh, I didn't see the springs. Yeah, springs probably could be a little bit easier to see, I hope. I legit didn't see them on the sides. <gasps> I thought I could grind real, but that's okay. Okay, green ones speed you up, got it. I think. Chima can't play this with other people, like, no one's... Doesn't seem like anyone's playing, at least not in the EU rooms. I could try an American room, but... Oh, so wasn't I just here? Did I go around in a circle? I'm not even sure anymore. I think I did. Yeah, I did. I'm going backwards. Right, let me just go back around again. Now, I'm not going to be too harsh on this because it does seem like a lot of work and talent has gone into this. And don't get the wrong idea, I do like it. However, this game has a lot to live up to because we have Spark the Electric Jester 3, which if you've never played that before, is a fantastic alternative to Sonic games. And I would highly, highly recommend you check that out if you haven't. So I wouldn't say at least and based on the demo that this is as good as that, but, you know, it's only a demo and they're still working on it and there's a Kickstarter, so... I'm probably gonna end up backing this anyway, and hopefully by the time the game goes gold, it will be much better. But yeah, physics-wise, it's pretty on point. I'm just really bad at, like, managing m my movement. Okay, this is kinda cool. <laughs> I like this. It's like fucking Bingo Highway now. I'm comparing this game to Sonic Heroes a lot, aren't I? There we go. It's an early alpha. It's honestly too early to judge. Yeah, understandable. Oh. Right, let me, uh... Oops. Quick game just closes the game entirely. Wait, one second, I'm going to restart the game. I want to go back to the previous menu so I could, like, select US room so I could try and play there because no one's playing in the European ones. I mean, it is past midnight over here, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. But there'll probably be some people playing in the American servers, so let's give that a shot. What if I just do a quick play, will that find the room for me? Oh, hey, we got a room with someone in it. Eagle... Eagle-scope 27 has logged in. Let's see if I can catch up to him. I guess he may have noticed that I'm here.
Come here. I want to say hi to you. Oh, I see I get to vote. Uh, sure, let's do club foot race. Okay, it's this one. Not a very fair position for me to be standing in, but okay. Oh, I thought I thought that was an alternate path. I should have just followed him. The way that sloped up to the left there, I thought that would lead to like a different path that ultimately leads to the same place. I'm stupid. Also, I'm just going to say this right now, chat. I have a bit of a mild headache today, like I've had it since I woke up. I took some painkillers before I started the stream, so hopefully those kick in soon before I get to Metal Gear Solid. Like, it's not a massive migraine or anything. It's manageable. Oh, am I back here again? Wait. I don't know if I went backwards. I can't even tell, honestly. I... Yeah! How did I get turned around? Good. Yeah, I'm probably not the... I'm probably not the person this person should be playing against right now. They're too good. I'm too bad. Person's probably wondering where, where, where the fuck is he? Yeah, I think the green ones speed you up. I didn't know that could happen. Is he just waiting for me to, like, get near him and then he's gonna cross the finish line? Is that what he's doing? Oh wait, no, I think he finished already and the timer started counting down. It's Sonic 2 style, I guess. Yeah, does anyone remember that Sonic 2 had a fucking multiplayer mode? Where it's like, Sonic and Tails race in certain levels? I used to play that shit all the time with my siblings when I was younger. Whoa. Ah. Uh. Well, I was about 22 seconds behind. That's not too bad, I guess. A, a bit more than that, actually. I, fe I feel bad for this guy because that was easy for him. I'm still learning how to, like, play efficiently. It's not even a third person. Can, can we leave? Wait, there's a photo mode? Oh, shit. Oh, wrong button. I don't know where that screenshot went. I guess it went to my Steam screenshot folders. Let me check real quick. Uh, view... 
Wait a minute, how do you use view screenshot? There is view screenshots. Uh, I don't know how to view my screenshots. Wait, this game's called Rolling Rascal. Hang on. Hmm. I, I, I can't figure out what my screenshots thing is. I don't really use that feature on Steam. Are we still in the set? Oh, we got another person. We got a Roomba. Where'd he go? Come back here. I want to say hi to you. Gonna cut them off. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Play <coughs> Play on name. Like they didn't even bother putting a name in, they just left it to the default. We got three people now, so we at least got enough for like a full podium display. there. Yeah, the green ones speed you up. Like the green railings. <laughs> Just running by someone like, meow. So yeah, that camera issue I was having in that, uh, what was it called? Beach Buccaneer or something? Like, I don't seem to notice that anymore. It was just that one level where it was all fucked up for some reason. Come here, you. Oh. I wanted to say hi. Why you gotta be like that? Come here. I, I just want to be friends. Boing. gonna start a match or something? You know what? I think I'll start a match for us, maybe. I don't think I'm gonna wait for another six people or however many people you can get in here. I'm gonna guess like eight people max, so like another five people? No thanks. I'll just see if I can start the race now. Okay, everybody was fine with that. Good. Why did I do that? That's fine. Oh! 
Thought I was gonna fall there. I tried to do another bounce there, but I ended up going into a roll and then falling off. Oh, why did the camera go that way? I'm still in second, though. a little bit better at this. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Come on. Final stretch. There we go. That's how you do it. Finish! I actually came first. I'll take it. They weren't that far behind me, mind you. I think the other person left. I think they were falling too far behind and quit. Alright, let's try that again. Yeah, the other person disappeared. Player name has left everybody. Why am I over here? The fuck? Oh, there's a path over there. I didn't know about that. Oh yeah, no, that they're 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 okay then. Hate to rage quit, but no. Oh fuck. I, I keep thinking that means go back to the title screen. I don't realize that means oh quit the whole fucking Steam game. Let me restart it, sorry. How the fuck do I view my screenshots on Steam? Does anybody know? Like for this game specifically? Because I don't know where my screenshots went, and that's what I'm trying to find. No, I can't, I can't find it. One moment, please. It's been a while since I've used the Steam screenshot interface. I don't like how it looks now, honestly. Right, let's see, show on disk? Hang on. Probably better if I just look through my folder to find it, maybe. No, I don't think it... I don't think it's actually here. Hmm, okay then. Well, if anybody knows, let me know. Oops. I'm gonna, before I do another multiplayer, I'll, I'll do the multiplayer for a bit longer, but let me just try, let me try this again real quick. Because I want to see if that weird glitch still happens with the camera.
Oh, so I love this music. Also, I hate that on Nero. I think the camera glitch fixed itself, maybe. Doesn't seem as jittery now as it was before. I won't be playing this for much longer, I do want to do some Peace Walkers shortly, but I did want to at least give this a fair shake. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Hang on. There we go. Right, well, I think I've gotten used to the controls now. Took a little while, but kind of like this. See, I like that you can carry your momentum while doing the bounce attack. That's the one thing you couldn't do in like Sonic Adventure 2 when you do the, the bounce bracelet. Because whenever you did that, it stopped all forward momentum and you just kind of like drop straight down. But yeah, being able to like carry your fast forward momentum while bouncing, kind of useful actually. Ah! Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Yeah, we'll fucking have that then, you bitch! Trying to walk onto that. There we go. I'm getting through the level a lot quicker now. Oh boy. 
All right, we're fine. Nice. Seems like there's like score multipliers and stuff as well. That's kind of cool. Oh god. Probably shouldn't have done that. I was trying to like do the the, the bounce commands, but I kind of like bounced right through the fucking like thing by accident. I was doing so well as well. I don't get the timing of that, but I'm glad I got it. Good. Yeah. Alright, let's go this way then. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, when you do the bounce command, the surface you land on also plays into momentum. Yeah, I could I could see this being a good speedrunning game for those that want to try that. Like Spark Knowledge Jester 3 has a pretty good speedrunning community from what I understand. Oh god. I'm almost done with the level, by the way. At least I think I am. Can I control what direction this goes in? Wait, am I supposed to go the other way? Is that how it works? Oh, that's how that works. Sorry, it wasn't clear that if you go one way it goes down and if you go the other it goes up. Okay then. Uh. One more try with the online multiplayer, and then I'll do some Metal Gear Solid. How long have I been streaming this for, actually? Hang on. I've been streaming this for almost an hour. I thought it was going to be- it was going to take me about 30 minutes, but I'm actually getting a bit more out of it than I realised. But yeah, I won't- I won't edge you guys on the Metal Gear Solid stuff. We'll get to that rule shortly. I don't see anyone in this room. I clicked on qu quick play, right? Or did I click on create room? What the? No? Uh, okay then. Right, online multiplayer. Yeah, it was highlighted on quick play. You are the new host, yeah, no one's playing on this one. I'll wait for a couple minutes, see if anyone joins. I'll just do another one-on-one. -on -one. Oh wait, there is someone here, okay. Let's say hi to them. Uh, Valdav? Hello. I do like this character's design. It's kind of cool. Definitely got that 90s attitude thing going. But this is the kind of mascot you would like see back in the era of the platform, the mascot platformers. Like when people were trying to capitalize on the success of Sonic the Hedgehog. And I mean that in a good way because there are some pretty good like mascot platformer designs. Like, um,. I was going to say Spark the Electric Jester, but that's not from the 90s. I'm talking about the other Spark. Uh, Spark 
the rocket knight thingy the spark uh, yeah spark the rocket knight so i, I kind of like brain farted while i was trying to say that i don't know why but where'd they go oh we got a player hello oh <laughs> wait did the other guy leave Ah, oh, we could have had a three player match he could have waited for just another minute That's kind of cool. Guess I could do... Oh, did they leave? Fuck, I was about to start a match. I was going to say, yeah, we could do just a one-on-one. -on -one. I was going to wait for a third player, then I changed my mind, but I waited too long. Shit. Right, I'll wait two more minutes. If I don't see anyone, I'm just going to move on to Metal Gear. So yeah, we don't have the triangle jump from Sonic Heroes, but we do have wall jumping. Just like traditional wall jumping. I forget, can Sonic do like the traditional wall jumping in Sonic uh, Frontiers? I think he can. At least in the 2D segments he can do that. I do wonder what's next for Sonic, like, in terms of, like, the next Sonic game. Like, yeah, we got Sonic X Shadow Generations, which is still a dumb name to me, but I'll take it. But, you know, that's that's mostly an old game with some new content added in, which I'm fine with that. But I am really excited to see where Sega's going to take the Sonic franchise next for the next mainline game. Because Sonic Frontiers, in my opinion, was a really good game. The DLC, not so much, but, uh, yeah, the, the DLC was kind of garbage. But the, the core game was, was fantastic. Definitely up there with some of my favourite 3D Sonics. Up there with, like, Unleashed in Colours. And, of course, Generations. Which, I've streamed Generations a few years ago, but I will be streaming Sonic X Shadow Generations. I do want to check out the new content. Yeah, no one's joining. Right, I'm just gonna stop. Sorry for, you know, ending on a bit of a disappointing note there, but... Nobody was joining, so I, just, I couldn't really do much about that. Right, so that was the Roland Rascal demo. Before we move on, I'm just gonna quickly check the Kickstarter for this. Because there is a Kickstarter campaign. Let's see how they're doing so far. Right, I can't show this, but I can tell you what's going on. Actually, wait, I think I can show you this. Hang on. Let me try and get this up on the screen for you guys. One sec. Alright, here is the Kickstarter page. I just topped onto it real quick just to have a look at it. So it seems like they've already met the, their funding goal. Like, we're looking at this in my local currency, but yeah, it was almost £40,000. It's only been up for a couple of days, and it's already surpassed it, and it's still going. Funded in 12 hours. Jesus Christ. Wow. Seems like a lot of people are putting faith into this. So yeah, Roland Rascal is a love letter to high-speed 3D platformers like Sonic the Hedgehog, with the dynamic interactivity of the Super Mario Brothers, strap in for a thrilling ride with speed, excitement, and a cast of endearing characters, and an experience that will classic, that will delight classic speedster fans. I can't read, while also introducing newcomers to the genre. I'm not going to read all of this, but we can have a look at some of the core things in this. 
Yeah, well, there you go. There's the... Wait, that's an image? Huh. I just wanted to highlight the text, but no, that's a fucking picture, apparently. Okay, we got stretch goals. So yeah, base game, we'll be getting that. Color customization, that's been met. Speedrunning tools. Uh, outfit pack 1. Just some stuff based on concept sketches. A hub world where you can explore different levels and challenges. See, a hub world would be cool, as long as they, you know, make a decent one. A challenge mode, test your skills and specifically design bite-sized courses with unique objectives. Play as QT in, in all the game modes. So I guess this is a story character. And then we've got more stuff on the way. Is this going to be on other consoles, I wonder? Engaging narrative, epic showdowns. Oh yeah, this is cool. Um, I don't know if it's coming to consoles. It seems like it's a PC game for now. Some different characters here. Right, so let's see. Does it mention anything about consoles? I don't know why I can't... Okay, it's not an image, but it seems to act like it's an image because I'm tr trying to, like, drag it. I don't know what's going on here, but it's, I can't, like, highlight the text. Right, I'm going to try something. Console. No? Nothing? Okay, then. Switch? No. Xbox? No. Okay, well, right now it's just a PC game, by the looks of things. But yeah, um, let's see, what's the minimum backing thing for this? It is... Let me check. $20. Okay, so I get a digital copy of the game for $20. Yeah, I'll probably... I'll maybe pitch in, like, 30 bucks or something for this. It seems like a, a, it's going to be a good game when it's, like, you know gonna be in development for a while. The estimated delivery is July 2026 by the way, so we're still a couple years off from this one. So I can imagine that from here it's only gonna get better. So yeah, despite my complaints with like the slight jankiness of it, it seems very promising. I look forward to playing more of this when it comes out. But again, probably won't be for a couple years, so we'll have to wait and see on that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, stick around, I'll be doing another game in just a minute.